Since the United States went to war in Iraq and Afghanistan, there has been a growing number of injured military veterans finding fun and friendship in what's called adaptive sports. Action News reporter Adam Weiner tonight showing us how the Wounded Warrior Project is connecting vets right here in the Tampa Bay area. The equipment is a little different, but the idea is the same. Play hard and have fun. You can still do all the same things that you did before uh, you got hurt, but you know, you'll need adaptive equipment to accomplish the same goal now. Mike Delancey has been wheelchair bound since a sniper shot him in Iraq in 2006. He calls adaptive sports life changing. And I've had it to where, you know, I've gotten guys out of the house for the first time and then I hit a rut and then they get me out of the house. So it really does play out. That's part of the reason the Wounded Warrior Project has been so impactful. But now the nonprofit for injured veterans is trying something a little different. What happens is we were flying them to this coast, flying them that coast, and then they would come back home and sit at home. What our goal is now is to tap them into the local community. That's why Tuesday and Wednesday this week, a dozen veterans from right here in the Tampa Bay area are playing softball and hockey and learning about adaptive sports programs already in their community. You're just connecting the dots. And adaptive sports is about to get even more exposure here in Tampa. The Department of Defense's adaptive sports national competition called the Warrior Games is coming to Tampa in 2019, hosted by U.S. Special Operations Command at McDill Air Force Base. Tampa is a very big uh, community for that. Uh, the Tampa VA is one of the largest four spinal in the nation. So I'd say one of the largest uh, wheelchair veteran communities is in the Tampa Bay area. Delancey once competed in the games himself. Now the Pinellas County resident looking forward to cheering on his brothers when it comes to Tampa. In Tampa, Adam Weiner, ABC Action News.